Y'all probably can't hear Uh-huh. This is before like, I get to what I'm about to tell you. Uh-huh. 
was on my phone and said, hey, look, man, what happened, what happened, happened. You know, we need to squash this shit because it's getting, it's getting too deep. Um, Y'all stay ignorant. He said, nah, I'm gonna fuck that nigga, I'm gonna kill you. Uh, his exact words, fuck that nigga, I'm gonna kill you. I said, all right, cool. Left it at that. Youngster and his brother moved to Miami to do some stuff. Um, <clears throat> Don't call youngster again. Say, man, we, we need to squash the beef. You know, we need to squash all this stuff. We, we're from the same hometown. We need to come together. Youngster said, hell no, nah, nigga, fuck you. Youngster sends his brother to go take care of Dolph because Dolph comes to Miami. Come on. Not saying it was Dolph, but somebody in his crew, they end up killing Youngster's brother. Did you know about this? Uh huh. Did you know about this? Okay. They end up killing his brother. I was at his funeral, right? I mean, I was there, so I paid his life insurance policy, so I know. Okay. I'm still pissed now. We killed his brother. Got him pissed. Right? Um, <laughs> so let's fast forward to October of this year. Because cause they, they, they was like, okay, we're going to let this shit cool out, die down, then we're going to get his ass. But Dolph was thinking the same thing. We're going to let this shit cool down, I'm going to get his ass. Okay. Youngster had a concert here on the 29th, I think, of October, um, which was a Friday, I think. Um, well, okay. Youngster was leaving out the FedEx form, and his truck, his armored truck, got shot at, got, got shot up over... Where is it at? When was this? Where is the truck? Where is it now? Uh -huh. it, I guess it did. <laughs> it was downstairs this morning. Where is it now? I, I don't know. It's gone. It's gone. Matter of fact, uh, when I called you earlier, you got the pictures? I don't have pictures, but I want you to see this. I will not take no pictures. This today. Today is day, right? I talked to you. But um, he called me. You know what it is. Uh -huh. That's young. Uh -huh. He called me. He said, um, well, actually, he had been calling me. He called me two times yesterday. Uh -huh. He called me. Hold on. When the day didn't happen, it happened two days ago, right? Uh -huh. He called me right after it happened, about three something, right? Uh -huh. He called me again at six something. So he's calling me, and I don't know what, I didn't know what was going on, mm -hmm. right? Don't get too worried about what the truck. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> anyway, October 29th, shot up the truck. He called me, he was like, he called me that Saturday morning. He said, hey man, I need you to come pick up my truck and get it fixed. Mm -hmm. I said, nigga, I ain't no damn mechanic. You know what I mean? I, I can't fix your truck. He was like, man, my truck got shot up. I was in it. Um, I need it. I need it fixed. Uh -huh. I said, okay, I know what this means. I got you. Uh -huh. I said, bring the truck. Bring the truck to the well, I'm, I'm sorry. I said, what hotel you went? I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you something because I don't want you to think I'm just bullshit. <clears throat> I said, uh, I said what? I said what hotel? This was on the thirtieth, Saturday, October thirtieth. Uh -huh. I said, what hotel are you? Are you in? He told me where he was. Gave me the address. I went to pick the truck up. Um, took the truck down to Jack Morris to try to get it fixed. But of course, they don't have bulletproof glass there. Uh, so they had to order the part. Uh, truck had been sitting down here since October 30th, waiting on the parts to come in. So it just so happened, the day before the murder of, of young Dolph, he called me, he used to call me. Uh -huh. He said, uh, hey man, where my truck at? 
I said, man, your truck, you know, downstairs waiting to get fixed. He said, you ain't got fixed yet. I said, no, I'm still waiting on the parts to come in. I said, everything's slow right now, you know, because of COVID and everything else. He said, uh, man, I need that truck. I need that truck for tomorrow. I said, well, you got some shows to do tomorrow or something? He said, no, I got some traveling to do. I need to get around. I said, well, ain't you in Atlanta? Because that's usually where he is. I know. <clears throat> he said, uh, I'm in Atlanta right now, but I can, I can be there tomorrow to get the truck. I said, uh, tomorrow, which was, what was that? That was the 17th. I said, okay, well, if you come tomorrow, the truck won't be ready, but you can go ahead and drive it around because the windows and stuff like that are still good. I'm mean, like, you, you ain't got to worry about nobody shooting at you or nothing. He was like, yeah, that's really what I need because I don't want nobody shooting at me. I said, all right, cool. <clears throat> so then this, this stuff happened, right? And uh, he called me at, at 3.15, you saw it. Uh -huh. He said, man, where my truck? He, he called me and said, man, where my truck? Where my truck at? I said, shit, it's still where it was. I didn't come get that truck, man. I said, who, who, who you gonna send up here to get it? Because I know you out of town. He said, nah, I'm here. I said, you here where? He said, I'm in Memphis. I said, youngster, is everything okay? Cause I already knew what had happened. Handling right hand right up the street. I could hear the, the sirens and everything. Uh -huh. I said, is everything okay? He said, man, I need that truck and I need it bad. I said, I said, I don't know what's going on. I said, but meet me up here tonight at about six o'clock so you can get that truck. He called me. You can see, you see the uh, things on the 17th. Let me tell you what he said. He called me and said, uh, let me make sure I don't get these dates right. Seventeen, yo. Seventeen days, six oh eight. He called me and said, man, I ain't gonna be able to meet you right now. But can you drive my truck over somewhere, he said. I can't remember where he said, but can you drive it over here? And uh, I'll get the keys from you, and I can go from there. I said, youngster, I ain't driving this truck. <laughs> yeah, I said, I said, this motherfucker shot up all on one side. Windows crack, windshield crack, so I'm not driving this truck. I said, if you want this truck, you come get this motherfucker. Uh -huh. He said, and I said, you might not want to come get it tonight. I said, you probably want to wait till tomorrow or, or the next day, which is today. Uh -huh. He said... Yeah, that's right. E, you're right. You're right. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna wait. I said, but you in the city though. Yeah, I'm in the city. I'm trying to fly out. I'm trying to get out of here by tomorrow. I said, all right. So he called me the next day, which was yesterday. He called me yesterday. I'm gonna tell you what time. <laughs> he called me yesterday at uh four fifteen. He said, man, do you think you can drive that truck down here to me in Atlanta? Because I just flew out and I'm back. I said, yeah, I'll drive it down there to you. I said, you, I'll bring it to you right now. He said, all right, cool. So I'm getting ready to drive it to him. And I'm getting ready to drive it down there to him. It was about 4, 4.30 in the evening. My wife called me and had one of me do something. So I was like, all right, I can't do it. Call him back. I said, I can't do it. He said, well, I'm going to have somebody come pick the truck up tomorrow, which was today. Uh -huh. <clears throat> he called me about, he called me at 10.55 this morning. He said, is the truck ready? I said, yeah. Uh, he said, all right, I'm going to send somebody up there to get it. He, he called me again. <clears throat> about, he called me at 12.30. He said, I'm, I'm here. I said, you here? He said, yeah, I'm here. I said, I thought you said you flew out to Atlanta yesterday. Oh, no, I had to come back. I said, where you at, man? He said, I'm around downstairs. I said, pull up to the back. Right back here. Back to the front of that truck right here. Uh -huh. <laughs> he pulled around there. He said, man, can I come upstairs for a minute? Came up here and sat down right there. Actually. <laughs> I came and sit down right there. Uh -huh. I said, youngster, you all right? I looked up just like that. I said, you all right? He 
said, uh, he said, I ain't do it. I said, do what? He said, I ain't do it. I don't care what they say, I ain't do it. I said, what are you talking about? Man, you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. I ain't do it. I said, young, I don't call him young, I call him Sam. I said, uh, show them the picture that they call, that they looking for. I said, uh, who car is this? I don't know who car that is. So I did this right here. Oh, no, I don't know. I said, you don't know who car that is? I said, I said, I said, is that not a white Mercedes being C300 that they looking for right now? He said, man, it's my girlfriend calling and pops. This is, this is, this is Pops right here. All right. He said, uh, he said, I, I said, I said, that ain't, I said, that ain't that car right there. That white car. Uh-huh. He said, man, my, that's my girlfriend car you talking about right there. I said, young star, you all right? He said, man, I don't know what you talking about. I don't know nothing. I said, let me tell you this right here. You got me caught up in some shit right now. I said, that car, that's in, that's in your name, that you got insurance on, that you wrecked last year when you called me and told me you wrecked it. What's that? Behind the passenger door. Yeah. Behind the passenger door. Okay. Yeah. I said, I said, that car, ain't but two, ain't but two doors. Ain't but two doors. And on the, on the passenger side, you can see where it's rolled up. I said, you should have got the car fixed. When it happened last year, your girl wrecked it. I said, now, these niggas riding around in that motherfucking car. I said, best thing you can do right now is say that car stolen. And I filed a report for it right now. Well, man, go, can you go and do this? I said, man, you fucked up. I said, y'all ain't thinking this shit out, man. I said, you fucked up. Man, I don't know, I don't know what you're talking about, man. Give you, me you, my keys so I can roll. I gave the nigga them keys. Can you hear them turn up? It'll come back to you now. Yeah. You call him, and you're in the town. I said, I said, I said, uh, I said, Sammy, you ain't gonna get the y'all in the car? And you in town. Aren't you still in this lawyer? Yeah. I said, you in the car and you and you in town. Do you understand what I'm telling you? I said, God in Miami right now. And staying. And staying. I said, I said, money bag in uh in Atlanta right now. Lil Migo, another one of their little cronies. I said, he in Atlanta right now. I said, but you the only motherfucker here right now. And that's your, your woman's car. And your woman calling me, dude. I said, man, you ain't getting in that truck. Ain't getting out of here. Get the fuck up out of here, man. I said, all right. Uh, man, I just called him, man. And he stood it up. Just like this. He stood it up right there. Uh-huh. And he said, man, we've been through a lot together. And I love you. And he, and he grabbed my hand. And the way he was standing, the way he, uh, the way he hugged, like embraced me, uh-huh. like this here. He did this. And then he uh-huh. said, he said, Man, I love you. Just like this. I ain't no get rid of that. I said, man, I said, is everything all right with you, man? He said, man, I gotta go. He did this shit, man. He did this shit, man. And if he didn't do it, he didn't do it. Oh, yeah, he absolutely know. Absolutely know. That's why I don't know. Why would they use that color? That's a good question. That's what I want to like. That's dumb. Why would you do that? I don't understand it, man. Right in the lane, right here. I looked at when I saw the car. I done seen all these cars. Yeah, he had two Mercedes like that. Or three or four Mercedes like that. G, Lamborghini, another Lamborghini, and a, and a G. You know the truck, right? You know what you're talking about, the armored truck. I said, man, come on, like, why, why would you do like you didn't take no pictures of the truck? Hell no, I don't know what this is in my phone. <laughs> uh, I got a thing, 
tell nobody else. You just don't tell me. You. I got no title. They send me a, a thing. They call some detective called me today and said they want me to come down there at ten o'clock tomorrow, uh, Monday, to talk to them. Tell them no motherfucking thing. All I am is his insurance agent. That's it. I asked him, I said, I asked him if he did it. I asked him, is he okay? He knew what I was talking about. He knew what I was saying. I said, man, are you okay? And man, first thing he said is, I ain't do it. I said, damn. Because if you didn't do it, he knows what I did. This shit go all the way back. All the way back to the incident in North Carolina. And, and follow him from there. And they killed his brother. And the shit. No, they killed his brother in uh, last year. July of the last year, I believe. I was about to call him somebody. Like that. See? And there's a video of him and a group. Who, him, young? Young? No, no. Him and some of his guys, they wouldn't cast a dog. No. When you say youngster. Oh. Youngster. Him and a group talking about they got their flashing guns and travels. Talking about they're going to kill off. When was this? I don't know where it was. I got it on my phone, so that's sent it to me. Um. But this shit ain't looking good. Hey man, I got the whole that damn investigation right here. And it's that simple. I ain't, like I said, I ain't trying, I ain't, to my folks. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't trying to be involved with that shit. I know you ain't. Not at all. I'm doing that. Not at all. But I told him, I said, man, well, see, you know, these young kids, I don't care how much money they get, they don't think. Why in the fuck would you go use a car that you know is yours? Why not steal a car? God damn it. You're going to shoot a motherfucker to steal a car. Or at least say the car was stolen. But you think you'd have to say it was stolen? A long time, time ago. Yeah. You can't say the motherfucker was stolen now. investigative 